Hi, my name is Katherine Thomason. I am going to talk to you guys today about um, how to choose your college courses and also how to keep up the responsibility of that. Um, this is my third semester at Coffeeville Community College. Um, I will graduate in May with my Associates of Science. Um, I started in January of 2015, so I should have already been done by now, but between this time I also enrolled and was accepted to a nursing program, which I will graduate from tomorrow. Um, but I knew that I wanted to finish my associate's degree with Coffeeville Community College, and so I picked right back up on those courses as soon as I knew that I was capable of doing that. Um, firstly, choosing your, your courses, it's important to know kind of what direction you're going to be going into or what kind of degree you're looking for. So if you are going into the medical field or maybe uh, computer science or something, Look ahead. See what kind of courses are required for that next step after you graduate from Coffeeville Community College. So once I graduate from Coffeeville Community College, I will go to another school for a, to obtain um, a bachelor's degree in nursing. Um, so I looked ahead to see what courses, what prerequisites were required for that. Um, and so I took, I have taken most of the classes already that I need for my Associates of Science. And then as my elective courses, I have taken uh, classes that will benefit me when I go on to obtain my bachelor's degree. Um, that kind of puts me in a little bit of an advance compared to other students. Also, I had looked and um, kind of made a routine for myself just to make sure that I succeed, which is also another important thing when it comes to responsibility. You need to make sure that you're not taking too many classes to where you're going to fail, and you need to make sure that you're not taking the least amount of classes into which it's going to take an extra long time to graduate. But you also need to make sure that your life fits your schedule or your schedule fits your life, whichever way you want to look at it. For me, my life had to fit my schedule. So because I know that I go to school Monday through Friday, that means I cannot work Monday through Friday. So I looked for a job in which I could work Saturday and Sunday, and that is what I do. I work full-time, double weekends on Saturday and Sunday. Some people say, when do you have time to study for an exam, or when do you have time to do homework? That is where you have to make your priorities. For me, my lunch breaks are time for for studying. The little breaks they give you between classes is time for me to do homework. I don't chat with my friends or send text messages or whatever. I use that time to study or to do homework because I know that once I get home as a single mother, I have the responsibility of my children and my children... Um, to say it in other words, are not at fault for the fact that I decided to take college courses later in life after they were born. So my children still need my attention, but I also need to make sure that I'm making good grades in order to succeed and also in order to be accepted to another program, which is also important. You need to know what kind of program you're being accepted to and also what the requirements are. If you need to have a an 85% in each of your classes. If you need to have a 70% um, or or 2.5 GPA or a 3.0 GPA, those things are important to know. That way you make sure you're setting goals for yourself on what your grades need to be. For me, uh, the higher your GPA in the medical field, the more likely you will be accepted into uh, a nursing program or whatever program you decide to go into. Um, you just need to make sure that you are focused, focused and determined to succeed because those two things are key. Um, 
they say you can't, your eyes can't focus if your imagination is blurred. So if your mind's wandering, you can't focus on your goals. So you need to prioritize and maybe even make a routine, a daily routine. Wake up this time, do this, do this, do this. Uh, time for homework, time for working out or whatever else you do in the evening. But in order not to burn out, in order not to get tired of it and just say, oh my gosh, I'm so done. You also need to make time for yourself. So whether that be once a week or twice a week or even three times a week, you need to make one hour of the day or one hour a week or one hour two times a week or three times a week, whatever, where it's your time. Your time to go hang out with your friends. Your time to go do something you like to do to take your mind off the stress from school. Because as a student, myself, and also a mother and a uh, person with a full-time job, I get stressed. I get uh, fed up. Sometimes I feel like throwing my hands in the air. But then I realize, you know what, that's not going to get me any closer to what I'm looking for. And in all reality, that's just going to keep me back. So I take that one hour, twice a week usually, to do something that I like. Whether it be going to the store and just looking around or going to a friend's house and talking with them or going to eat with another friend, maybe have a little drink or something responsibly um, but it, it's a chance to take off the stress from responsibility so that is a necessary thing in order not to get um, fed up with your education educational goals or work or whatever um, but you need to to realize what is important and a routine really works um, when you pick your classes you also need to evaluate what kind of learner you are are you an independent learner can you guide yourself uh, maybe online classes would be okay for you and in which case you have a, a job that you need to uh, attend to during the week if you're not a uh, self motivated person um, or you need to ask a lot of questions in order to understand something or maybe understand it from a different point of view, um, I wouldn't recommend that you take online courses. Um, probably on-campus courses are best for you. I am a combined learner, so I have chosen to take online courses and on-campus courses. I've taken the harder courses on campus like microbiology or college algebra just because I feel like those things are things that I need to be able to ask questions about and there's no better way to do that than to have the instructor there to help you. So I hope this has helped anybody who may not know exactly how to go about picking their college courses or how to maintain a routine or, or keep up on responsibilities. Um, also get a good advisor. Talk to your advisor. Your advisor will help you and start you in the right direction. Thank you for listening, and I will see you later. Bye.